not perfect. How much more God who's almighty. You might have a perfect heart, but if you've got a perfect heart, you're humble. You're humble before God. Oh, humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before God. I want you to give God a praise offering tonight. We're going to preach. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going to disturb you Pentecostals and Charismatics. I'm going to use some fractions, and I'm not very good at that, so my number may not be correct. But just in broad terms, half the prophecies that come forth aren't prophecy at all. Half the tongues that come forth aren't tongues at all. Half of the revelations that come forth are not revelations at all. And I'm being generous in my statement. There is a reality, but God says, come off of it. I hear people act as though they have a pipeline with God, that God doesn't do anything but talk to them alone. He tells them what color socks to wear. He tells them what color shirt to put on. He tells them what restaurant to eat in. He tells them where to go, and he tells them when to leave the church. And he can't do that. But you hear these people who are super spiritual. And they are telling you what a wonderful person they are in God. I knew a woman. She was so spiritual. She had to get a hundred foot extension cord so that she could hook it onto her phone and she could keep on vacuuming. And all the people came to her and said, did the Lord give you a word about me today? A pipeline to heaven. Sister so-and-so hearing for everybody. Listen, God wants to talk to you. He wants to speak to you. You stir up the gift that's inside of you. You find out what God is saying. Don't get your eyes on somebody else. Get your eyes upon Jesus and grow up yourself. You know, the people who have the greatest tr a trust, the people who have the greatest trust are people who are blind that somebody tells them, I see. Because they know that they don't see, and he says that he sees, and so they listen. And the liar goes ahead, and he says, I saw, I, I tell you, you ought to get some of the mail that's sent out by evangelists. You ought to get some of that garbage. I don't care who he is, from Morris Cyril on down. 